Hey, what's up guys, Big Tuna here, and by the title of the video, you already know what the deal is. You search up WoW Burnout and, you know, a, a good bit of videos pop up. It's not a pretty, it's not a scarce topic, alright, it's actually a very common topic uh, amongst all WoW players. Why? Because it's such a recurring issue, which is not, <laughs> it's, it's, not a, it's not a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be talking about my WoW Burnout and... Uh, yeah, just why I'm really not feeling the game, why I'm not really feeling any version of the game, retail, classic, uh, Dragonflight, and yeah, again, these are all just kind of my, uh, my views, and if you guys agree or you guys, you know, have your own burnout, uh, issues, then definitely comment something down below and maybe have a little discussion and, you know, just voice your opinions because it, it matters a lot, <laughs> you know, it determines, you know, the you know, the actual success of a game, and if you're too silent about it, then, well, they don't know, the big guys don't know what the what the hell going on, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely comment something, but, you know, I'm just gonna start it off, it's gonna, it's gonna be broken down to certain sections, but, uh, this, this one doesn't really matter, but it's something that I do want to discuss, and it's the whole classic versus retail, um, you know, it's like the whole, I could just stick with the whole stigma of like, oh, well, you know, classic players, like, you know, you, like, you're playing, you're playing retail, like, that game is so, like, that version of the game is so dead, and it's only going to continue to, you know, be dog and dead, or, you know, the other view of it, you play classic, I'll look at this nostalgia Andy, you know, um, just both of those players in general, which is a large player base of, yeah, this guy hates that guy, and the other guy hates the other guy, um, it's just really pathetic. Um, but yeah, the whole classic versus re retail spiel, I mean, again, I'm a retail player, so, you know, um, I played the game since Wrath, so obviously it would be kind of a, you know, pretty uh, standard for me to, like, you know, play Wrath, Wrath Classic. Uh, but it's just not, it was never really my, uh, my thing of just playing classic. Um, you know, many nostalgia, whether, whether it's, you know, you say about it of, oh, classic is just all nostalgia hype or, uh, it's, it's going to die off in two months, whatever you say. Um, I, I just don't really like the whole vibe and feel of the, of, you know, of the classic versions of WoW for the sense of, you know, yeah, it's like, I want to progress forward in the game and, you know, actually progress and move along with the actual content that moves along which is current world work at retail that's constantly going to have expansions and constantly going to have new content you know i don't really want to be stuck in the same old phase of being in you know wrath you know in wrath for however many months or years you're going to keep classic servers open I i'm not that's not really how i roll so you know that's just one version of the game that's completely eliminated. So now I only have retail, and retail obviously is not um, super amazing. So yeah, um, let's move on to a different subject. Sorry, I paused there. I was checking to see if I was actually recording. Uh, but yeah, just the whole classic versus retail. It's not my spiel. Uh, nostalgia, eh, not really. Uh, the past is only meant for three things: to be learned from, to be experienced, and to be re and to be uh, reminisced. Uh, not really meant to be spent uh, too too much time there. So another reason why classic is just really not the whole thing. But uh, another topic which means pretty obvious is uh, the whole PvP and PVE situations. Um, obviously PvP, PVE. That's literally that's literally like 90% of the content in the game. Um, yeah, both those aren't really uh, doing too hot. PVE. I was never like a huge fan of you know player versus entity. Not not saying that like you know I'm I'm the whole you know like oh you 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 have fun killing AI like what you're so like you're so lame like no that's not that's not really that's not really it but you know the whole PVE is fun obviously with you know friends which any game is fun with friends um, but PVE was just never really something that excited me too much unless the actual raid slash you know dungeons or mythic plus actually had cool mechanics or you know just had or just had um interesting design layout you know a little bit a little, little bit of lore spice in there if the lore is actually good um stuff like that but really we haven't really had any of that in um in like shadowlands so hopefully dragonflight makes it better but 
I'll talk about my whole thing with Dragonfly uh, later on in the video. But yeah, PvE was never really my whole thing. But uh, PvP definitely is just something that has just drained the absolute hell out of me. Uh, from whatever from whatever it is, whether it's gearing or whether it's you know just class and balance and just borrowed power, all of it is just I'm just I'm, I'm tired of it. Um, in terms of gearing, um, it just it is uh, it's just lame. I never. I don't want to say never really liked gear, but I mean, you know, it's like a cool fantasy to think of like, man, what, what if like WoW didn't really, not necessarily didn't have gear, but didn't have gear time gated behind, you know, raiding. Just say, hey, you do arena or rate, rate any bit of rated PvP, uh, you get honor, you get conquest, you get the gear that you need with that conquest and honor that you gained from winning um, or just other quests and yeah, you can buy a piece of gear. You don't need 1400, you don't need 1600, you don't need 2100 in order to upgrade this gear. Like, no, you get the uh, exact amount of honor and boom, you can buy the gear. No, you know, Arena, kind of wish Arena was just like a lot, which is like every other um, PvP based game out there, just really meant for, uh, for prestigious purposes and, you know, maybe some other stuff like cosmetics and titles. You hit 1400, maybe you get like a cool tabard. Hit 1600, maybe you get like a cool title. 1800, you get like a, you know, a, um, what is it, a rival, a rival mog, you know. <coughs> Sorry. You know, maybe 2100, you get a cool mount, I don't know. Um, but just the whole thing of being time gated behind gear uh, just really is um, really not great. Um, that bleeds into other factors like, hey, you know, that also bleeds into, um, really being really hard to find groups which also bleeds into yeah um, people only really want to accept you if you're run if you're this class running this specific build um there's so many factors again uh you know community and everything that just bleeds into the whole everything bleeds into it together I'll, I'll touch up upon it a little bit later in the video but you know again class and balance it's the same thing every uh, every expansion every season this class is too overpowered this class is the, yeah, this class is too overpowered, but yeah, Blizzard doesn't nerf him. This class is in a really good position. It's honestly a really good class, um, and people mistake it for being OP, but, you know, but Blizzard po focuses more attention on those classes than the actual ones who are really dominating. And then you have the classes that are just at the bottom of the barrel, most unrepresented, most question mark um, class designed, um, you know, specs and yeah i just haven't been changed for months or <laughs> probably some of them even like a, a whole expansion and blizzard just leaves them it's the same thing that gets recycled every every expansion why i don't know i don't know if it's on purpose or if it's some just huge joke but that's just really how it is um and of course me being enhancement shaman i you know much like every much like a lot of other uh classes out there i, I know the feeling uh, but Dragonfly enhancement does look promising, so I'll kind of keep my mouth shut for a bit. But, you know, just uh, there's just a lot of factors of PvP, and there's just the fact that it's really boring. Um, whether it's, again, class and balance, the actual classes themselves, just not really being uh, super creative and fun. Um, that's the whole beauty of having alts, is because, you know, usually one class is, gets really stale, but. You know, you usually have a fear warrior or a feral druid or a, maybe even a healer that you obviously just bounce around between. But, you know, the whole thing of just getting gear and, you know, really settling your conduits and whatever uh, other bar power mechanics are um, out there and are probably going to be out there in Dragonflight. It's just something that's just a huge mess and something that it shouldn't be there in the first place. Um, but, you know, having alts is a beautiful thing, but, you know. As time has gone on and as these classes have just stayed the same, haven't really had any big, super amazing, like, re, you know, redesigned, like, you know, rotations or abilities or, you know, combat styles. Like, it's just really, it's stale and just makes having alts just like, eh, it's, it's not really the same anymore. It's boring, um, you know, in terms of uh, going back on track to like actual PvP, and again, PvP itself is just lame. There's no new battlegrounds, there's no new arenas, there's no battlegrounds or arenas that actually have like cool mechanics. There's no, like, yeah, there's no, I'm surprised we haven't, we don't have a domination map on, you know, on in 10v10 battlegrounds. Like, what the, like, what the heck? Like, take a page from Call of Duty. Again, domination, A, B, and C, you know, same thing with Guild Wars 2. You know, you have X amount of players in it. 
in A or B or C or whatever, and you know you want to get some points, well, you got to kind of kill, you know, have more of your boys in that circle than the enemy, kill them off, and you know you start getting some points, and by the end of well, like eight, eight, ten minutes, you know, whoever racks the most points wins. You know, like it's not that hard, especially with like arena um, back and. Pretty sure they have it in Wrath. Um, the arena that I forgot what it was called, but it's the arena that constantly has the the changing pillars that constantly there's like four pillars I think, and uh, they constantly uprise. You know, between each one of them, granting cover for a bit, and then another one rises. Um, having cool mechanics like that in arena is just really cool. You know, it just adds a little adds you know more intensity um, and benefits and D benefits. I don't really know if that's a word um, to other classes. It's just really fun. But obviously you can't really do fun stuff like that when raiding matters so much because again you need raiding to get gear so naturally that just really puts an ill taste in the community and how people treat each other and you know just what you can really do in terms of creative limits in you know in pvp and in pve as well you know it's so important to get that rating to get that gear that you don't really want to mess up or be, or lose rating because of this stupid mistake or this stupid glitch or this stupid map you know so that's just another reason why rating is really just bland and just should be gone already or sorry time get time gating should just should just be gone already um but another thing i should moving on to another topic i'll come back to pvp in a bit um is you know one of them is being friends as i mentioned before again having friends is you know, makes any game funner. Um, but when you're con when you're in a game that constantly just puts you in the solo perspective, which isn't bad, you know. Obviously, I mean, you know, of course, I like to be solo from time to from most of the time in my uh, WoW experience and just in normal MMORPGs. But it's not like I'm allergic to you know being open and talking. Sorry, typing to people. You know, I'm not allergic to it, but you know. Uh, yes, a lot of times I do like to be a solo and just kind of with my own self, but yeah, you know, there's, it's an MMORPG and usually the whole idea of being with a larger community is always really nice. I mean, I'm part of my friend's guild, um, but right now it's kind of dead because <laughs> everybody's on Wrath or, you know, has real lives. So, you know, making friends in WoW is like, it sounds really easy because obviously you do get some, you know, nice breaths of fresh air. Uh, coming your way and actually are willing to make conversation with you or continue conversations with you but you know in reality like nine times out of ten like you just meet a bunch of like the you know dwellers and just people who don't really want to talk which I'm not saying they're bad people but you know it's a little bit unfortunate when you're trying to make friends and you really get somebody who's just not really rolling that way you know whether it's in uh pvp or whether you're again lfg lfg is just a system like this isn't determined hey you're gonna be friends with this guy or you're gonna be friends with the next guy in two you know after two matches of arena like no it doesn't it doesn't work like that this is just a system you know a pretty ill system by that um so you know many pro players always say like oh man, you know you, you how do you make friends well you just gotta friend people you know who you meet in lfg dude <laughs> you may you may get that because you're a streamer or you're a content creator that's great and all I'm glad you have people to play with but when you backtrack and remember hey this is how it was when you weren't a streamer you might want to take that back you know what i'm saying so you know it's it, it's it's just it's just not really a good thing especially me who constantly tries to make people laugh which i do it doesn't really result in actually getting friends on my list because you know, yeah, I don't have a lot of people on my list, unfortunately. Um, I have the, the real ones, you know what I'm saying, on my list. But, you know, again, even I got to expand from, you know, expand, you know, reach, reach out to new people. And it's really hard to do that in, in World of Warcraft, unfortunately. Um, another thing I want to talk about is uh, World PvP. World PvP is a, a kind of just kind of is its own section for good reason, because WoW has always... And originally, like, World PvP was just kind of World PvP. It was just something there to, like, really mess around with. Um, that's always been the, the section of where World, World PvP lies. Sorry, I gotta readjust myself. Uh, World PvP has always just been the, you know, again, like, the world is your battleground. Do whatever the hell you, you know, you want to. Um, you know, World PvP is just an open battleground field. Anybody can join. Like, you know, it's just one giant massacre. You can bring any trinkets or any 
gizmos, you've got trinkets from raids or potions or flasks from your, you know, your herbalism and alchemy, anything you have in your engineering, mechanical dragons, shrink rays, like you can bring all that. It's fair game. It's not fair actually, but the term fair game, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just this giant brawl of just, you know, going past normal character power limits and just really seeing you know the actual true chaoticness of world of warcraft pvp outside of raiding and outside of you know all the sweaty stuff like no this is just for fun um but you know again for the past expansions now like world pvp has just been so dead for multiple reasons one because uh, although it's still fun like world pvp is you know it's fun to do um, you don't really gain anything from it other than just a, a few, you know, shits and giggles. Like, you don't really gain rating, you don't gain any honor, you don't gain any of this or that. Like, stuff that actually matters. And, you know, it's like, would you rather want a world PvP or actually get rating to actually get gear? Like, you know, you gotta choose your priorities and set them out. So it sucks that world PvP isn't really a, isn't really a huge thing anymore. You know, potions don't really matter. You know, food, you know, certain food buffs don't really matter. You know, uh, engineering, you can only really use your glider kits and uh, parachutes and nitro boosts. That's really about it for engineering. You can't really do anything else with it. Um, it's sad and it's honestly, you know, it's a shame because World PvP is so fun. Um, it's just really unfortunate to see that there's really no purpose to it. World Quest, nobody really does those anymore. You know, I really wish like, you know, bounties, I really wish bounties were more, uh, kind of like a more impactful thing. And I wish actual gains, I wish in every zone, there would be like four to three uh, world quests. You know, I'm not gonna be like that that guy and be like, you know, hey, war, war, war mode should just be gone already. Like everybody should be flat with PVP. No, that's, that's clearly unfair for people who actually just A, aren't really in the mood and B, are PVEers that don't really, give, you know, really give a fuck about PVP. So it's just, it's unfair. You know, but um, you know, I wish there was like four, three-ish um, like PvP zones. Uh, when you enter this, when you enter that zone, um, either you're automatically flagged, flagged with PvP, or you kind of like accept like a little warning here, like, hey, you're entering a PvP zone or PvP world quest zone. Do you do you wish to turn on PvP? Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and obviously these were war actual substantial amounts of honor and conquest whatever currencies that uh, are going to be in dragonflight gold you know just better versions of world quests and you know that actually give you something to actually farm out you know three to four in every zone maybe um but i wish there was also like bounties we have bounties obviously but bounties aren't really like it's really hard to get bounties because you have to have to kill people but if there's just nothing to kill out there in the out there in bastion or you know, Miles Rax is because nobody's doing world quests and it's like pretty lame. So when you combine those world quests and maybe like a like a bounty board system, I've I play a lot of Fortnite, you know, I'm an OG by the way, who <laughs> screw all these these new gens. Um you know, when you combine like something like bounty boards to um to uh like from Fortnite to uh, World of Warcraft, you know, you go maybe in like pretty like a uh, like actual like towns where you know you have like safe zones or just flight paths anywhere you can accept a bounty for like 50 gold and it'll obviously place any enemy or even ally to be honest <laughs> imagine uh an, uh an enemy or or an ally uh if uh put a bounty on them and obviously they'll have like a they'll have like a threat for like five or so minutes every you know every um two minutes their threat will kind of will shrink so obviously give you direct location uh, but yeah, it ha it'll have like street three stages. It's like Fortnite. First stage, high threat. It'll show you like this is the area they're in. Second threat, it's gonna shrink, so it's gonna give you better location. And then the last stage is like yeah, it's gonna basically tell you where the hell they are. Um, but you know, if you kill them, you get heaps of heaps of gold, heaps of honor and conquest, and I don't know, maybe some just random cloth or fish or you know you know like those little pouches you find out in the open world. You know, but again, make PvP more interesting. Um, it'd be cool if like, you know, um, maybe, Hey, when you do like those world PVP quests, you gain, um, like a new currency, a new currency that, Hey, this is only, this is only for world PVP. You can go to a vendor and Hey, I want to buy this enchant for 500, uh, 500 Alliance slash horde skulls. I don't really know. 
you know, or tokens, I don't know, that you've looted off of the enemy player, you know. You can get certain enchantments for your helmet or for your, you know, uh, for your chest, like, hey, for, you know, your chest, you know, your chest is plated with dragon scales, you know, whenever um, you're hit with magic damage, you have a chance to reflect, like, five, like, 3% of that damage back to the attacker. I don't know. Just cool enchantments like that that just will make Wolf PvP just more chaotic and awesome. You know, or hey, you know, you uh, you, you know, enchant your your helmet with, you know, with uh with moon steel. I don't know. With moon steel, you know, whenever you're whenever you're struck with a uh, with the CC with the CC lasting more than I don't know, four seconds, uh, gain a temporary 30% CC reduction for 10 seconds. I don't know, just stuff like that that only works in World PvP, obviously. Um, but, you know, just, again, really give into the whole fact that, yeah, World PvP is supposed to be chaotic. Um, but, yeah, well, the last two um, topics I have is kind of briefly going over, yeah, nothing's creative. Uh, there's just really nothing creative in WoW anymore, whether it's classes, spell designs. Again, I've made like three or so videos just talking about new spell ideas because it was fun it was something that was fun because it, we haven't had any new spells or any new crazy like new design spells in since like what like bloody legion you know so it's it's a shame but it was also really fun recording those videos so if you want to see that uh link in the description but you know there's nothing creative uh classes classes and you know everything i've talked about maps you know pvp maps dungeons raids you know nothing nothing's creative why because if in blizzard's mind nowadays it's like well does it work yeah well if it works and there's no really reason to spice it up or you know go the extra mile of just adding attention to detail to the stuff like it doesn't really doesn't really matter it doesn't really affect gameplay as much so why, why are we going to do it you know it's unfortunate but uh, I think the last topic I want to talk about is lore. Uh, <laughs> lore just really is uh, is weak, and I, I, I hate talking about this because obviously you know I invest myself. I'm not a huge lore nerd. Like I don't know every single detail, but you know I obviously um, it's immersion. You know there are. I mean my phone is like filled up with like bajillion bloody wow quotes from you know the the biggest dicks out there in wow. Um, yeah, it is a shame to talk about the lore because the lore, ever since, uh, yeah, ever since, I don't want to say mop, but yeah, ever since wad, um, yeah, lore has just been like really, really weak. Like it's been, it just hasn't been exciting. There's been no crazy new characters, which is why Legion was so awesome because it's Legion, the greatest threat to Azeroth known to man. Um, you know, like it was, it was bloody awesome. But like now, like there's no like cool characters. Like Blizzard basically took away the greatest characters we had left, like Garrosh and Varian, and like didn't really have plans to like back them up with like some someone else's cool. Sylvanas is like you know one of my favorite characters you know of all time. I'm always a sucker for like misery stories like that. Like that's you know I can I <laughs> not relate to it, but I can I can understand basically. You know, I have a great mind, so. You know, but seeing her, her character get butchered in this seat in this you know expansion was just rough. Like I'm like, dude, like it's not really hard to to work around her character in this in a, in this expansion. Like it's really kind of standard just having you know of playing on her motives and playing what she wants to do with you know the alliance and the jailer and everything. But like, it's just like you know, I'm not a pawn, like. Bro, come on now. Like, that, that that cinematic was just super weak. The cinematics in Shadowlands, the, even the voice acting was weak. <laughs> I'm calling out the voice actors too. Eh? Even the voice acting was weak, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Laura has been really stale in the land. In Dragonflight, it's nothing really crazy or exciting about, like, come on, Dragonflight, like, we get to see the most washed up characters, you know, most pruned characters, the most useless characters of pretty much all WoW history, the dragon aspects who have done nothing but <laughs> let the threats that constantly, you know, endanger Azeroth to continue happening because they suck that much, like, come on now. 
come on now guys like and they don't even have their powers either or they have like weakened versions versions of their power like it's not really that cool so yeah um that's just that's just really it dragonflight's not really doing it for me the talent system was like cool for like a second and now i'm just like i don't really care anymore i'm just gonna get the same recycled chewed up you know response that we always get as well players so i'm not really i'm not really fucking with it so yeah that's my whole burnout spiel to classic versus retail pvp and pve you know making friends in wow world pvp just really being really bland nothing creative and lore just being really weak um you know that's just that's just my own thoughts and views on it but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like right down below. And if you want to see more content from the Big Tuna Man, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you have your own WoW burnout, um, you know, viewpoints, then definitely comment something down below and uh, maybe get a discussion going. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next life. Peace.